Hi, it's Amanda here, National Director and Co-Founder of the AYCC. I wanted to let you know that I'll be retiring at the end of January from the National Director role which I previously held with Anna Rose and the fabulous Ellen Sandal will be taking on the role. You might know Ellen personally or from the AYCC videos and emails. She's been with the AYCC for a number of years now. Ellen's an excellent leader, she's a great political strategist and campaigner and I know that she'll take the AYCC to new and amazing heights. It's almost four years now since we launched the AYCC with the ambitious mission to mobilise our generation to solve the climate crisis. And that mission is now more relevant than ever. Nobel Peace Prize winner David Caroli has stated last week that the recent very heavy rains in Australia have been exacerbated by climate change. The floods in Queensland have been record breaking and terrible, with many people losing their homes, their livelihoods and even their lives. In 2011, the Australian Parliament is looking to put a price tag on pollution. How effective that is to cut pollution and build a clean energy economy will depend on how strong public pressure is. Our movement has grown exponentially in the last four years. We have 56,000 members and counting, and we have 36 groups all across the country from Wagga to Brisbane, Sydney to Perth, Launceston, all over the place we have AYCC groups. And we have a proven track record of mobilising tens of thousands of young people around our campaigns. But it's not just a national movement. We've worked with our friends all over the world to be building a global movement for a just and sustainable world. There's a few things that stand out for me. You'll all remember the PowerShift conferences where so many members and volunteers have built up their skills and tools for change. We then reached out to our friends and challenged them to have their say in the first national youth vote on climate change, Youth Decide. And in one of the top 10 political moments of 2010, our cheeky climate elephant brought our message to the national media, capturing their attention. Our youth delegates have lobbied tirelessly in Canberra, while our Switched On Schools program has enabled students to affect change in their schools, and our international youth representatives have rocked the UN summits. All of these projects have built our movement, put pressure on decision makers, provided young people with meaningful avenues for action and shifted community attitudes. In 2006, the Purvis Environment Fund, the Climate Institute and Insurance Australia group took a punt on a group of really enthusiastic young people and a good idea. They had amazing foresight and I particularly thank John Connor and Rob Purvis for their amazing mentorship and incredible support. Many more organisations and individuals have invested financially in the AYCC, which has been critical to both our survival and our success. I also have to thank our partner groups. It's amazing what we've been able to achieve together. Last year alone, AYCC volunteers worked $2.7 million worth of volunteer hours while juggling jobs, education, family and so many other commitments. Your commitment and enthusiasm inspires me and fills me with hope for our future and the future of our planet. Thank you to my colleagues, the staff and board. It's been very special to work with so many brilliant, creative and inspiring people. And most importantly to our 56,000 members, whether you've attended an event, participated in an online action, signed a petition, donated over our website, it's amazing to think just how many people have pitched in. You have all played the most critical role in our success and the growth of the movement. I'm so proud of what we've achieved so far, but I know that there's still much more to do. If you've been waiting to volunteer or to support the AOCC, 2011 looks like it will be the best year yet for our campaigns. So thanks for watching this little video. I'm sad to be leaving the role of National Director, but I'm so excited about the future of the AYCC. So go get them, guys.